guys, so I had a couple people ask about the governor um, on the SK540 with the Castle ESCs. So this is SK540 Gov with an HV80. HV80, yeah, HV80 yep. on there, and the hobby wing sensor. This is in multi rotor mode. The only negative side effect that I can see is a little bit of a kick um, on startup because the soft start's not that great. Um, however, kind of is what it is for right now. Uh, this is the third flight on the Fusion with the 540, so uh, bear with me if it's just a little bit off. And again, that was just that was the kick right there. I'm in grass, so it's not going to spin at all. So this is at uh, 2150 on the head. The holding power on this is just awesome. It sounds great, man. Try and get a little rowdy with a stick. Again, no overspeed really. Um, about a million times better than the Castle Gov. Uh, my smoothness kind of all went out of the way, but. Doesn't skip a beat on those TikToks, no, man. It really does it. And I should also add that this is with a set of uh, 25C Gen Zace packs that have over 200 flights on them. It's just got so much pop to it, it's ridiculous. Also going to show you guys the bailout on it. The bailout is absolutely seamless for so all the views who uh, had issues with the bailout. Uh, actually, we're just going to do it right here because that's how comfortable I am with it. Uh, completely adjustable on the speed. I've got it at a nice little moderate rate. So uh, here we go. Three, two, and off. Back on. That's it. One nice little kick. Super fast. I can slow it down if I want to reduce that kick a little bit. Nice smooth transition back up to head speed too. Yeah, it really does. I just don't have any problem even getting into some more trickier type stuff with the bailout. It is. So again, guys, that's the SK540 Gov with the Castle HV80 ESC and the Hobby Wing base sensor. Thank you.